What is up people, this is Vyas HQ and today I'm going to show you how to run a speed test on the command line using the speed test mass SCI. So what is speed test? Speed test is, an, is a website which show you, shows you your current speed. As I clicked on begin test, it will test my current speed. I have a plan of around 7 to 8 Mbps up, uh, down and about 2 Mbps up. So here it shows, it will show me somewhere in the ballpark of 6.5, 6.6, 6.1 Mbps and the upload speed will also be displayed. I have a 2 Mbps uploads, hence it will show me about 1.9, 1.8, somewhere in that ballpark. So there, that's my speed on my PC which is connected using the LAN to the router. Now what I did was I installed the speed test, my speed test my CLI on my Raspberry Pi. There are multiple ways to install it using the pip or github. I usually use the github method and hence I'll be doing that today. So now let's fire up putty. Let me log in. I'll change the font size to make it bigger and better for visibility. I'll put in my lo login again password. Then what I'll do is I'll just copy and paste the script. Now start installing it. But I like to run this script with a super user, hence I use sudo. Now while this is going on, there are multiple things that you, you can do. With speed test my CLI, it will show you the current speed. Now there are a number of optional arguments which can be added, which will be just to check the upload or download, the bytes and all the other things. Now what I'll do is that I'll just check my internet speed on my Raspberry Pi and compare it with the speed test I got using the LAN. The pass connected over Wi-Fi, hence the speed will be a bit lower than that of the LAN but let's check it out how slow it is. There's my ping. Now it is testing my download speed with 6.13 megabits per second. And now let's test my upload speed. And my upload speed is about 1.93 megabits per second on the Raspberry Pi. So now let's compare it side by side. So the ping increased quite a lot, but the upload and download speeds remain almost the, almost the same. The upload speeds decreased by about 0.5 megabits per second. So on to the next part. So in so in this part. I'm going to show you the custom Python script that I made for testing the speed. So this script was found on the GitHub page of the speed test minus CLI in the Python wiki. So over here we import the speed test library. Then we can set custom servers into this bracket or we can just leave it blank for speed test to search them. Then s equal to speed test dot speed test. This would define the variable s as the speed test variable. Then to get the servers, we type in s dot get servers. Then the next line selects the best servers. Then down equal to s download. This line checks the uh, checks the download uh, speed. The next line down equal to down by one million. This line is important as the output from the down 
equal to s dot download would be in bits per second hence we would convert it into megabits per second so we divide the bits per second by 1 million and we get a megabits per second the next line it would shorten the integer value and the float value which we get which we get from the above usually we get about 5 as 7 to 8 floating values what round does is that it would round them off to two decimal values the same is done for the upload upload dot upload equal to s dot upload this would this would get the upload speed and the same and the last lines for the print download and upload in megabits per second so as you may have seen the earlier video which i'll link down below i had this script for my lcd so the only thing that i did was that i added the speed test library over here the first thing is that i imported the speed test above the next thing is in the, in the while true what i did was i made a variable t equal to 0 which i show later on why i did why i did it then the whole script from the speed dot pi the only difference is that i set down equal to download plus str down what this will do is that it will concat both download string and the str down string str down str is a function which is used to convert integer to in, integer values to string hence str down it would give a string value so we'll concat both the strings into one common string this is only done because the code that i have over here it would not accept integer values i did the same for the upload then i added a for loop t in range of 0 to 4800 why i did this is because i wanted the speed test to be performed every 20 minutes in google uh, less than 20 minutes so 20 minutes equals to 1200 seconds but as it can be seen in the code that i have 15 seconds per loop hence if i type in 15 it gives me 0.25 so this loop will run uh will run once in point 25 uh, in point 25 or quarter of a minute so what it did was i needed 20 so 20 uh, so to convert a quarter into quarter of minute into 20 i would have to run the loop 4800 times so that's why i did it and what i did over here in the end is t equal to t plus 1 which would increment the integer value t every 1400 times it would go back onto the top and set t equal to 0 and it would run the speed test again the next part contains the actual implementation and seeing it on the lcd So thank you people for watching like this video or dislike it subscribe to the channel share it go through the other videos which you'll see right here and see you next time tada